Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Venusian Light Tarot. So today we are going to be doing a collective reading. This is going to be a specific message for a specific group of people. So if you do resonate with what I'm going to say here in the beginning part of the reading, or if you feel drawn to the title or to the thumbnail, then it could be for you. But please just take what's going to resonate. If you feel confused or if you feel like you can't quite put together um, any of this information here and how it pertains to you, then it's probably just not for you. And that's okay. So the first thing I heard here was it's time to raise your standards. And we have this card here, rat, that came out as I heard that. It says someone working against you behind your back. And again, this is not going to be for everyone. I actually heard Spirit say that this is something that if this is for you, you have a very strong intuitive knowing about this. And so we'll go into more detail as we go. Um, but with the magician here, I do feel like this is something that you perceive to be off about a situation around you. Um, I also was hearing choose the path of light and not fear. And this is why we have yes and no. And I'm being drawn to this almost like fluctuation between these two, between no and between yes. Um, so this feels to be a situation here that there's something that you, I'm also hearing there's like a pattern that you've been moving through or a repetitive kind of situation that again, you intuitively know that something is either going on behind your back or you know that there's something that's only going to repeat itself if you stay involved in it. So, you know, it could be a relationship. It could also be when I shuffle this other deck, we have um, family sorrow and we have the Hierophant here. So again, this is not going to be for everyone. Take it how it's going to apply for you personally. But I do feel like for some of you, this could not either involve something with your family. Um, it could be a certain pattern that you've had within your family dynamic. It could also be a maybe like a marriage, something like that, something traditional that you've been involved with. And I'm getting that if this is for you, again, you're being really encouraged right now to follow your emotions and what they're telling you. Because if something is just, you know that like your standards are being lowered or you're, you're having to lower your value or your morals for something or someone, this is something that's a confirmation for you that there's almost like this background sort of competition or background energy that is only going to suck you into the same circle or the same cycle. Um, and I'm almost being shown this like dark pit, almost like a like something that we can fall into. And I'm being shown that this moon and the yes here um, and the temperance card is a message for someone, if this is for you, that you're being asked this time around to climb yourself out of this dark hole. So whatever this is, we'll get some more detail, but it's something that makes you feel um, that there's just something kind of going on around you or again, something that you know is not living up to what you truly deserve in some sort of way. Um, and again, this feels very highly emotional. It feels like something that they're also showing me the third eye with this emotion here. Again, this would be something that you already know what this is. At least you know that your intuition may be telling you something and it's something that you can't deny and they are pointing it to be connected to this card. So whether or not you can you know, discern one particular person who's causing this, this in the background, or this is a cycle connected to something. Um, there's a feeling here of you're being really encouraged to choose yes. Cause in the traditional right away too, with the moon, it shows, um, well, it's here too, but this dog is just smaller, but the dog and the wolf. So there's something about fear versus love, fear versus the dark versus light. And however that's going to be for you, this is a message to not repeat the same cycle of the fear or the energies around you, which are seeking to maybe manipulate you or going on behind your back. You know, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more confirmation um, to see if we can open this up a little bit more. So if this kind of sounds like something that's for you, um, let's go ahead and see what else spirit would like to say. Yeah, they're just showing me like a cycle that is, it's almost like if there were to be a, a spin cycle in a washing machine and it's just like it was going on forever and never stopped spinning. Um, that's how they're showing this on this side over here. 
I'm also hearing open your heart, seven of wands. Again, this feels to be connected somehow to the heart space, to needing to open your heart. Um, tell us a bit more, Spirit. Tell us some more detail for how, you know, what else do you want to say about this message for anyone who this is for? How would they know this is for them? What else would you like to say here? The lovers. So this also gives me a feeling too of the lovers can often be a choice and it's with the moon here I'm kind of almost connecting it to the same sort of meaning in a way because we have these two people and then we have the dog and the wolf here. So and we have this heart just here at the top. So again, you know, you're going to have to take this how this fits with your specific situation for some of you with the 7 of wands and this rat over here. It could be something that your heart knows or your heart wants or you feel that you have to almost like fight for what you believe in or fight for what is right for you. What is the path of love is kind of the overall theme here. What is the path that is um, really aligning us to the highest version of love, not just maybe romantic love. This could also be just in terms of how you conduct yourself or how you live your life. Where do your emotions lead you to the light rather than to the fear or like a certain cycle or um, area of your life or environment that is seeking to take you down a path of more fear and not of love okay so it seems like this is with this uh ouija here at the bottom uh, communication. I'm getting that for some of you. This is, again, something with the third eye I'm getting. So maybe there's some kind of connection to some psychic information that you've been receiving about this. Or for some of you, there could even be with the magician. Um, maybe something here with the moon that is, is seeking to disrupt your intuition. Maybe it's in the form of um, some sort of psychic attack that you're receiving. Or this rat here, they're almost connecting it to this. So again, it could be something that's being psychically picked up on by you or you're absorbing there's something with your emotions here you're absorbing a lot of energy around you and like i said in the beginning you know sometimes oh yeah this is beneath this too we have orbs so spiritual protection and see we have this yes here and it's like yes or no moon yes and no let's see tell us a bit more about this spirit what else would you like to say then about this message please for the viewer, what other details do we have here? I'm hearing don't sleep on this. Ton of pentacles. There's some kind of like really strong feeling with this yes of like encouraging you to follow a path. Yeah, five of pentacles, knight of pentacles. So let's say for example that you feel like there's something with this ten of pentacles that you know is like your future or you know that like this path is in your heart somehow um, maybe it's even something that there's like an encouragement here from your spirit guides from your ancestors that yes if you follow the path of love and if you follow the path of like what truly feels right for you for your future maybe even something with your career or something to do with your because we did have this family here too so it could have something to do with like your financial success with these pentacles here or just the overall direction of your life like what is that area or, or what is that path that feels sustainable for you um what feels like it's because it feels like with this yes it's almost like a strong encouragement from that somebody needs right now that yes you can fight for this or yes this is the path here keep going down that path um, but this magician here in the five of pentacles is some of this hidden kind of background information or background energies working against you, which are trying to derail you or take away your future success or path here. It could also be with the love connection since we have the lovers here. Um, and as I mentioned, the beginning is what I was saying before I got distracted was that sometimes these readings can pick up on people around you or it can be a mix of the two so there might be an individual here whether it's you or somebody else who feels that there are forces trying to take them away from what they truly want here 
And these could be in the form of external manipulations. It could be, again, psychic attacks. It could be situations which I'm just being told that, again, the, the key way to know this message is for you or for whoever this is for, both for advice and also confirmation, is that your emotions are the key here. So when something feels off for you, when you're around a person or when you think about a certain path and it just gives you like a, a not a good feeling or a sinking feeling, or you even feel like your energy is um, completely drained after you engage with something or spend time with somebody, whatever that is for you specifically, that's how you're going to know that that is a path of fear or that is the path that is something's not right with that path. That's like the no path. Um, whereas when your emotions feel like they're in complete sync and synced, sinking and alignment with what truly, again, feels like it's for your highest good, even if this involves just a choice that you're making for your overall, you know, well-being, maybe it's just a path of a direction of your life that you are wanting to pursue and persevere towards. But then there's these negative energies or whatever that is outside of you that causes you to maybe be drained all over again this is about fighting for the lovers here so your emotions are the guiding kind of force here so whatever situation you find yourself in if you come to a decision here or you have to make a choice or you're being confronted or someone around you with two different paths again fear versus love someone's emotions and heart space is what's going to bring that answer to whether it feels right or not and whether this is the path because I'm just being told that I'm almost just being shown this again that black hole I was seeing that someone's it feels like for some of you this is you others of you this is someone around you and it just feels like there's this how to put it it's almost like there's this overwhelming force that is trying to keep somebody from again, like what they really want on a heart and soul level, even if this is not evident, you know, in the environment, it could be subtle. That's what this feels like. And it's almost like this tug of war, the no and the yes, the tug of war between, it's like the battle between which force is greater, which one will you let win, or which one will this person let win? Will they let the forces kind of around this kind of take them down or keep them in this path or will they choose the path of heart and love and if it's about you it's the same thing here it's just it's you having to rise above since spirit was saying in the beginning raise your standards the lovers is all about that here in this in this reading so it's all about choosing what is in our what is our like if we look at our standards or our value what is in alignment with that what path involves respecting that and not lowering our vibration or energies to meet the expectations of just lower lower energies or lower people um Let's see, anything else, Spirit, that you want to say here for this message specifically? For someone specific, I'm being told that you may actually be receiving a direct confirmation very soon. So whether this is through a sign that you directly receive from Spirit, um, it feels like that. It feels like it could even be this reading or it could be some other reading or just something that's going to give you like you were wondering about it or you were questioning whether or not this is like, am I imagining um, my emotions? Is this really like what my emotions are telling me or am I, am I just, there's something about like a confirmation of trusting your emotions that the answer is yes for this here of you choosing this path and yes, choosing that you are not kind of wrong. Yeah. See here we have a false person. So, Yeah, I mean, obviously with this rat here and the false person, there is something with this magician. I just don't know what's going to be for everyone specifically. It could be a person that you, like Spirit said in the beginning, they're reminding me that this is something that you already know about. This would not be for you, at least this part of it here with the false person, unless you can apply it to a more 
to like a different, you know, situation for you. But if you can identify or you've been wondering or picking up that like somebody around me is off or something feels wrong with this person, then this is a confirmation for you that this is how you, you've already been feeling that. Somehow you've already known this to some level. Because I'm just getting this like tingling in my, yeah, and the sacral chakra is actually here beneath that. Again, very like emotional reading in terms of this is all happening in like somebody's emotional space to where they can't deny how they feel in the emotions. Um, and that's the key thing here. So someone's having to trust what their emotions are telling them, their gut feelings. And someone's gut feeling is trying to guide them to make the right choice here. So if this is, for example, um, something for you here as the viewer where your gut feelings are telling you right now that you deserve more from a situation or you deserve to take yourself into a different direction. Maybe there's something specific that you've been wanting to pursue, but again, you've had this kind of battle between the yes and the no, or you've had forces um, trying to interfere with that, then this is your emotions are guiding you here for a reason. Um, you know in your heart that something is no longer resonant with you or that this path would only lead to pain or something like that. Because I'm, I'm hearing spirits say you can't, uh, something like you can't quite pin or you can't quite put your finger on it. So that's why I'm saying this is a reading that feels very intuitive in terms of maybe you can't yourself, like you can't maybe quite put your finger on what it is about that person or what it is about that situation or even wh why is my you know, why is my intuition drawing me here to this yes direction, whatever that is for you? Um, with the lovers, it's because of a higher power that guides our, guides your heart, like your higher self. And we can't always have an explanation for things that we really feel drawn to. There's not always a logical explanation for things. Um, you know, and I think that's part of what this reading is. It's someone's intuition and feelings that can't be explained of why they feel drawn to go into this particular direction. Yeah, there's definitely this pathway here. Tell us about this. Um, yeah, and I was hearing something about, yeah, definitely change here. We have the stork and we have change. I was hearing something about that in the beginning too, like change is in the wind or something like that. So this obviously with the lovers right in the center and yes and no, this requires a decision between two completely different paths or the path, the routes between fear and love, between the logic versus the intuition, between the head versus the heart, things like that. So what is this yes path then? What is this yes path for the viewers? What do they need to know about this? Okay, so I'm not going to take all these because there's too many, but we have the lily, the child, we have thoughts, and we have mature woman. Let me see. What is this yes path? I'm just, I'm really just getting someone having to rise above the fear to do this. Again, this could be someone maybe who needs to follow their heart or intuition on coming forward, apologizing to you. Could also be just someone who wants to introduce themselves to you. You know, again, it could be various things with your situation. Um, it feels like it's it's something that with this flower, this bouquet here, someone feels this urge or this draw to go into this direction. And if it's you, it's just you feeling also drawn to explore But I think that's the case for this specific message here with this flower. Um, yeah, this does feel to be a love situation. So I would say for most of you, 
unless you can apply it to something like in work that you really want, you love to do, but it does feel to be a love part. This feels like two distinct paths in love. Two distinct people or situations. One of them you feel is not right for you. And the other path is the right path, okay? Or this is somebody else. I'm also hearing something like this current, mo yeah, I feel like, I, I do kind of feel as more, as more time goes on with this reading, I think this is probably for some of you about a person, but you can find yourself maybe in this too, in different aspects, but it does feel to be, for a lot of you, this is a man, or if it's a woman, you can reverse it, but there's a man here, I'm hearing like now or never, or the time is about to slip away if it's not now, if like the time is not taken now, this risk or this direction of following the intuition to send a message, to reach out, um, that really does feel to be this specific storyline for a lot of you. Yeah, I'm hearing watch your back. So obviously we have this rat here. What is this about watching your back? Some, I just feel like this man here for most is having to watch their back, but it's not even that, it's not even that something, it's like, it's not even real though. Whatever this is, it's, it's a false fear. Even if there is a situation tangibly around them, it's about rising above that. That's the whole lesson in this, is that this man um, needs to rise above the, the, the fear, even if there's people who are against him, or even if the path of it, the, the fear kind of overwhelms him, um, the intuition and the emotions, even from spirit I'm getting, have been maybe communicating to this person very strongly to take action. Okay. And for others of you, that if there's a man around you who, again, you would already know this, this wouldn't be a surprise, but if there's a man around you who you feel is a false person and your intuition has been telling you over and over that this is not somebody that I can trust or this person that you've been in a relationship with maybe or that you've been connecting to is not somebody I can trust and you feel strongly about that, um, then this could be you leaving behind this man as well and either going towards somebody else or just the path of love for yourself, which will lead you to a lover's connection, which is not this man over here. Okay, so one of those situations for you. Page of Swords. Let's just see if there's any final messages here. Are there any final messages about this reading spirit? I'm almost getting this, this, this may be specific. Again, this won't be for everyone, but I'm almost getting something about like someone who may want to run away with you in a way, even if they're not running away with you, it like actually there's something of wanting to swoop in and kind of escape whatever this enemy or this other situation is or the, the fear that they've been kind of swallowed into um, wanting to just take maybe this action to because it does feel like that it feels like almost trying to escape something although it doesn't have to be escaping it in a bad way it could just be escaping the the pressures or escaping the um, the fear I guess in a way because there's definitely change here is there anything else for this message, Spirit, that you would like to say? Yeah, I don't know why there's like an urgency with times running out. I keep hearing that when I'm looking at this. Yes. So I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. We have lovers, the lovers and the lovers. So I would, again, definitely say this is a love situation. I might actually do an extended for this reading because this feels kind of interesting. Um, for most of you, like 90%, I would say this is a love situation. And for most of you, probably it's this other person who's going through this. But again, take it how it's going to apply. Um, wow, we have a lot of repeating words here. Change again. 
Yeah, I will do an extended here for this. So this feels like we can go into a lot more. Um, and I will pull from some love decks just to open that up a bit and see what more is happening in love because this is a strong message for someone. And um, the devil would be the, you know, the shadow aspect of the lovers in tarot. So kind of like with this no and yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the devil energy comes out or that's part of what this is here. It's like someone has a choice between and actually I was hearing that and I forgot. I was hearing like the devil versus the angel. So there's something like that. And I feel like another reason that I want to do an extended is because spirit keeps saying that there's something that's urgent about the timing. So this either will maybe reach you or this, if this resonates with you, maybe it's because something is very soon to happen with this message here, this change, or there's going to be a, a change that doesn't feel to be too far off. Um, it's almost like it's picked up momentum so much so that it's like really coming in or it's, it's about to really come in here. Um, or it could be that this, if this is this man here, for most of you it is, may feel like for some reason that time is running out and that this is how they're feeling. That for whatever reason that is, I don't know if it's because they feel something from your end or if it's just how it is coming up here, but um, yeah, it feels like it's like a change that needs to happen very soon. They could even be confronted with their own shadow aspect they could be going through something okay in their life which has brought on this decision that really has to be made and since i was hearing raise your standards in the beginning of the reading it could also be that this person does have to this is a part of it is that they need to raise their standards when it comes to exiting out of a situation that is not right for them anymore and kind of undervaluing themselves in some sort of way. Yeah, see, it's all about somebody's morals here. The outsider. I'm hearing in the closet. Um, so that could resonate with somebody. It could also be just with this outsider that somebody is, this feels like it, again, it has to come out like this. Someone has to follow their heart. Someone has to follow this path. And it. I'm just getting this message from Spirit, though, that even though this feels like someone is very aware of this on a conscious level, there's also like a, like a, someone's higher self or like Spirit is trying to communicate here about this change to, to, to somebody. So that could be part of the urgency that it's like, it can't be denied kind of anymore. It's reaching a moment of just needing to happen, sort of. That's what it feels like. So I'm just going to pull a few of these and then we'll go over to the extended and I'm just going to leave it open to getting some love decks and just seeing what comes up in love here a bit more. Maybe we'll go into this person um, or whoever this is. That's just, we'll just kind of go with it intuitively. Yeah, the heart, the heart chakra. I'm hearing pins and needles, 1111. Yeah, this again, 1111 for me is two things in this reading. It's also a message of confirmation for somebody. And it's also a message, well, it's a couple of things. It can also be like, you know, higher level soul connections, confirmation for those connections here that are trying to come into alignment. It also feels like something with the timing again of like the time is now or this feeling of, it's happening now. Here we have the moon again. So I'm hearing the undercurrents. It's like this has been, it's almost like it's been on reserve, whatever this is, this, this decision, this decision that somebody has to make or the emotions connected to it have been in reserve for a while. For some, it could be a phone call. Maybe we have the wheel here, which is actually this card here, change the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing it's safe to go. Yeah, definitely for somebody who found this reading, this is like your direct confirmation if this happens to be you contemplating this. Especially if you're a man, but you know, you don't have to be. But I mean, there's somebody I feel out there who needed like 
a yes or a no. Yeah, it's somebody who's anxious for this, but they want to do what makes them happy. Um, and so this could be your confirmation that yes, this is the right thing to do. Yes, make that move. And that's, that's part of this anticipation behind it because it's like it's making somebody feel anxious or it's like it's, it, again, there's like an, an anticipation and a jitteriness almost to I need to do this now or I need to follow this now. And there's a lot of fear connected to, see, the anxiety versus what's happy. It's like there's two polar opposite emotions here in this in this, um, yeah, I do strongly feel like this is about someone about to send a message or to reach out. So yeah, it may not be for everyone, but that's what I'm getting here. I will go to the extended and we'll see a bit more to what this is. Um, so I'll leave the link down below to the extended. I'll have a link over to Gumroad if you want to just purchase the individual extended. And then also I have my Patreon page if you'd like to join for um, access to all of the extended readings as well as exclusive pick a card reading once per, per week and the weekly scrying reading predictions every Monday. So yeah, I will leave it here. I hope this could find whoever it's for. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will talk to you next time. Take care and lots of love.